and welcome back to the fourth part of this tutorial okay let's take care of this now so when I click on this I want to be able to enter data in here so I'm gonna exit out alright let's come in here and right click event action and action perform and right here the first thing I'm gonna use is I'm gonna say use an if statement to determine what is in here so I'm gonna say if CBO dot get selected item dot get selected item and if the selected item is equals empty dot equals empty enter coil braces if it's equals empty I want my txt jtxt score score one dot set text that will be zero okay and I also want it to okay I also it's going to be zero and I would not I might as well not take a chance let's just say dot set enable okay dot set enable that will become force enabled I think that is equals force so if it's still zero enable will be force else let's copy this else this will become clear this will be true and let's set focus in here so dot request focus do that again dot request focus there we go that is it yeah that is fine so if there's any data in there request focus becomes true so let's run it and see how that's gonna work if it works fine I'll just copy and paste it to the others and change things around it's, it's looking good anyway all right so grab that and there so I can just enter value in there okay and if I there we go that is brilliant I like that all right that's good okay the next thing is let's repeat exactly the same thing for the others so I am going to exit out and I'm going to copy those lines of code that I've just put together now the next one is number two here so let's click on that and that is it up here paste and change the data in there to two and this one will be two for the text box number two this is two as well two repeat exactly the same thing for combo, combo box number three there we go paste that in here and that is three combo box three text box will be three as tst score is three as well number four right click event action and action perform that is it up here paste and change the variable names to four four and four here as well I guess you guys are following let's take care of number five right click event action and action perform that's number five here 
paste and this will be five we are almost there now right six right click action action perform up here paste six there's two more seven repeat exactly the same thing here there and below I think that's eight I can see it so I'm, I won't bother click on eight so this is seven 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 see that is my reason for naming them in a way that I would be able to identify which component belong to which this is eight here eight and that is it for the subject so let's run it and see how that's going to look like there we go select that enter value in there that's fine That's good you see that guys that works fine we can just hit that and we can even print out the transcript look at that that is brilliant all right so now let's take care of this one here so if I select any of this I want it to give me all, all of the necessary information for these five text box so close that so let's go back in here and uh, right click select it then action action perform okay right in here when you use an if statement to take care of that as well so let's make reference to the content we have on the system so that is going to be get item if the item equals whatever so I'm going to copy all of this let's paste that here so if the very first item we're looking for is BA animation so I want the system to do as follows enter coily braces for my statement so J TXT cost code dot set text The set text and what text do we want in there that's going to be the cost code there we go that's the cost code for that taken care of JTXD faculty dot set text and that will be let's just call that school School of Art. There we go. Taken care of. Let's just copy and paste this one. Alright, the next one is going to be Dean of Faculty. Dean. Then the Dean, we can call that Professor or whatever. Let's say Professor. Daniel or oh, okay let's say Daniel more house and the next one here that is leader course leader or program leader that is going to be that's a doctor Very Casey. Uh, 
and here that is for cost to top Tony and Tony something like that and this is cost to top there we go so that's my very first condition so the others is going to be else if so I'm just gonna copy that so if BA is selected this is what's gonna happen so let's run that you see what I'm talking about first before we proceed there guys let's select anything with uh, BA there we go look at that that's good so exit out let's see clear that's fine exit out now back in here so I'm going to now use else if and populate that with the others else if and I'll just change that around might as well just speed that up so it's all the same lines of codes anyway okay that is it guys all done exactly the same lines of codes this is my very first one this is the second one and that's for serious games computer science computing computer animation and information okay now let's run that then we will take it from there it's coming up there we go now run okay animation that's fine computing that's fine you can see that computer science it's working that's fine as well yep and there okay now supposing we select this I want everything cleared okay let's see let's take care of that very one here we have this that's panel number seven panel number seven is already taken care of inside my resets so I'm going to go back into my reset and let's copy that reset panel number seven there we go look at it grab all of that yep grab that so that will speed up the whole process come back in here action action perform click and I'm gonna go right down here using else if again first of all let me paste this because I'm just gonna copy this now copy all of this paste it right here and close this up then here I am going to declare no create an object here field and the field is going to be j t x t that will be equals nothing there we go you see the arrow gun now in here is meant to be select let's say select select a course there we go that is it taken care of okay all done and the other thing that I notice let me run this and see first it's coming up come on if I run this enter whatever in there and let's change it to select a course there and supposing I click on this and see because there's a space in here I want it cleared as well okay if we select this it's clear it's not clearing all right so come right here 
or we can do one thing let's get rid of that very space select this instead of come back in here where is model there that's it drag it this much all right get rid of that comma there I think that will do it okay let's try it out now so I'm going to run it so instead of writing another code that is it there's no more space so that's that's good enough all right that is fine now what is left for us is to now create a database then we can then put it put together a line of code so that we can store everything straight into our database okay so let's exit out and go straight into our code right click action action perform go right up here first so right here I'm going to declare the following let's say we have let's go for string username that is equals it's going to be root so yours will be root as well guys and password my password is one two three four five six yeah then let's say database data connect whatever that is going to be as follows so let's go for jdbc dot my sql dot no column forward slash local host column three three zero six forward slash now what is going to be the name of my database what should I call that database I'm going to let's make that up I'm going to call it student result okay that's going to be the name of my database I don't have a database called no let's just call it results DB not student result results DB okay that's good enough all right now the next thing I want to do is I'm going to create a connector here so let's say connection that is going to be my SQL con that is nothing for now then my prepared statement that is going to be PST equals nothing result set I'm going to call that RS that is equals nothing nice one so let's say let's declare integer here integer there we go all right I have all my declarations in place but my problem right now is I don't have a database so I'm gonna copy this and let's open up the database okay workbench so let's go to the schema there click on that 
and that is the name of my database result db click on apply okay that is the schema when you click on the schema that will open up an area where you can create your database then from there you create your table so now click on apply again yeah it's successfully created the database is created click on finish now let's look for my database scroll right down results db there we go that is it right there result db right click on result db if I, let's drop this down okay drop it down inside result db we have the following component tables view and so on so right click on the table and let's create table there give your table the name i'm calling it the same name result db and once the schema is created you see this double head arrow i'm going to drop it down there and the very first column that is going to be student id that's my very first one oh. let's use uppercase for that student id and the student id is going to be my primary key it's going to be it must not contain no value and it's going to be unique to each individual now the next one is going to be first name surname address here gender date of birth mobile and underneath here I'm going to enter email there so that's for the first one okay now the next one is going to be this let's change that to course yeah then I have course course code that is correct then I have models this will be model number one so I might as well just copy that copy this is one two three four five six seven eight so that is taken care of the next one is going to be score score let's copy that and we just repeat the same thing that is score one score two three four five this one should have been four six seven and eight that is fine so we now need three more total score total score yep ranking and will you accept dates you should accept dates dates so in total I should have 29 okay that is it all taken care of take a good look at it I'll bring it down and down there okay click on apply so take this down and just check how many we have in there 
that is correct I have 29 in total click on apply that is it my database is created click on finish there all right so I'm going to minimize that now one thing I have to do is I'm going to have to do hmm, let's do this first okay right underneath here let's create let's create a public no a function actually not a public function let's create a function right underneath here i'm going to call that a public function public void let's say up upload db there public function upload DB let's say try cash if there's any problem take care of that for me and let's come down here and just take care of my cash statement as well then we take it from there so my cash statement that would be exception e x and what is going to be my error handler message so i'm going to say j option pen dot let's say show message show message dialog and the message is going to be nothing but it's going to come from within the system so grab this and just enter ex there so that's to take care of that now let's take care of this okay with that what i'm going to do first is i'm going to say let's say class dot for name there we go for name automatically appears for name and what is going to be the name I'm going to call it con dot my SQL dot JDBC dot driver. I already have a driver on board if you guys can still recall. I have my driver in place. Alright, so let's put this in a quote really. there we go then my L, no that that should be SQL con equals driver manager dot get connection and what are the connections connection we have to come from as follows these three here okay so we can just grab all of these those three so the first one is we have username already so let's go for one and finally we have password Awesome column there that is taken care of then prepare statements is going to be my SQL con dot prepared statement and what statement is going to be in there that is going to be an SQL statement so I'm going to say select from select all from if you guys can still recall my database name is called results db this very one grab that so whatever you call your database make sure you you remember else there's going to be an error there we go now results result set that is statement dots execute the query 
Pelgo. But I'm going to need a metal data, so let's say result. Result set metadata. I'm going to call that XT data. That is equals result dot get no that should be a result dot get metadata okay now q q is equals that dot get columns column count okay that's when do the counter for me for each of those columns now what about my table I might as well just add my table to the whole scene here so underneath here I'm going to say default table Default table, there should be more though as well. Dot. I will call it record. Record table. That is equals the default table model. And the table model that is j table that is the name of my table table one dot let's see table one dot get model there we go all right so get rid of this that was supposed to be a variable okay this is supposed to be lowercase yeah okay then that is fine now the next thing we now want to do is to grab this table to count with record table I want you to count as follows record table dot set roll count that will take care of yeah that should take care of the rules on the table now I'm going to use y loop y rs dot next And that is as a vector column with vector column data equals new vector here. And let's use a for loop now. The for loop will be able to get hold of our components so let's say for the i that i declared up there with the key equals one comma i less than and equals to q column i plus plus there now we now need to grab hold of our well as a date let's change that to column data column data do as follows the first one is going to be column data dot add and what I want you to add is going to be result dot gets string 
and the rare spring is student ID so I'm now calling this every single name no every single column on my database student ID is the very first one okay and that time let's get rid of this so that's the very first one and I have 28 more to go so the next one is first name copy that paste that so that is first name We have surname, and that surname there. Copy the three. We have address. Address, yes, address. We have gender. date of birth DOB I call that we have mobile we have email and we have course code no course and so on so I'm just going to speed that up and get back to you guys and that is it I've entered every single data so let's take it from up here okay come right down here there and this is the other columns or the fields on the database itself okay there we go and that's it now what I'm now going to do is to grab this record table here this very one I'm now going to add that is for my table I'm now going to add the columns straight onto the table so let's come right down here there that is my variable that I declared or the object that I declared for the table dot add rows and the rows that we're going to be adding is going to come directly from here this one here column data there we go and that is all there is to it okay this is taken care of now so all we then need to do is to take care of the odd okay for us to be able to add the data straight onto the database we need to use this add function right click and let's come right here there um, the first thing is let me just enter try there try cache okay before I go any further, let me copy this here. Let's go straight up here. We might as well copy it. Ah, where is it? My that I've just declared. Yeah, okay. This I'm gonna copy all of this here up to here. And I'm gonna start using my let's copy all of that. Come right down here, bring it down. Oh, oh where is it? come back in here right click yeah all right paste that in there okay now we have that in place okay all right and here instead of select that is going to be inset into insert into the database get rid of the from okay the following table so what are the tables first thing first let's 
take care of this first so I'm gonna come down here let's take care of this annoying whatever come right down here and say cash and that is going to be I'm gonna call that class not found exception ex mm -mm, and do that class not found exception ex and that is going to be java dot utility dot login dot login dot gets logger and that is going to be the name of my database let's grab the name of my database up here where is it there we go and come right down here where about that is where was it click on where the arrows are paste that in here right dots class dots get name and dots log right we're getting somewhere okay so we now come down here and just say say java dot utility dot login dot level dot login no 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 dot login level dots severe level comma that's no comma ex all right at last that one is done okay that is the error handler for the class not found i'm going to copy it and i'm going to enter another error handler for the sql statement so that is going to be cache sql exception there and that is it so the error handlers are taken care of okay this is not found this is just for sql statement okay now let's take care of all of the rows here or fields so right here the very first column that I have in here that is going to be student ID comma we have first name comma surname comma address okay comma I have gender nice that's good okay we have up to gender so I'm gonna put comma there press enter the next one is going to be say plus date of birth DOB comma mobile comma email comma course then we have course code then we have the various models 
all right let me do this I'm just gonna put those ones right underneath so the models model one so let's copy that and just put that up copy so we have paste model two there so one two three that's four five six seven and eight all right all the modules are in place the next one I'm gonna make that let's come out here and just say plus this calls that is call number one let me copy this call first there one let's call two three four five six seven and eight have all of them in place yeah then comma we have total total score ranking and date very good that is that done all done so we need let's see why do we have that error okay we need to just finish it up it's not finished yet so now come down here I am now gonna say plus value and the value is going to be let's use a question mark I have 29 of those so okay so let's just copy this we can copy this now that is four okay that should give me 29 and let's close that off there all right and finally I will then use the prepare statement to add so let's say prepare statement dot set string and the string is the is going to be the very first one which and that is supposed to be j t x t student id dot get text that's my very first one then followed by surname and so on so i'm going to copy this uh, copy and just paste and then change it around so this is two three four five six seven eight nine okay this is going to be first name name address then we have I'm gonna have to change all of these the fifth one is 
string close that that is J gender dot get selected item selected item there we go taken care of right the next one is date of death DOB and we have mobile we have email and the next one is going to be is different as well that is combo box so come in here paste that in there that's number nine is course code course not course code there and number 10 is going to be course code okay that's 10 that is course code so I'm gonna have to speed this up there all I'm just doing is calling each of the text components okay let's speed that up okay guys all done so I've called every single component I have on my system there we go right so finally I'm now going to get it executed so let's say prepare statement dot execute an update and let's add a message box let's say j option and just show me a message show message let's grab any message here and this message will be I said this student updates student result updated something like that student result updated that's all that's the message put that in a quote all right and finally I'm now going to call the function that I've added up there upload DB there we go that is it all done officially all done okay I'm gonna show you guys the add function again these are the lines of codes for the add okay let's move this in a little bit bring it down down and down and there so I'm going to compile and run okay let's run it now run there we go guys so let's enter student details in there okay we want to make sure if it works we are able to display everything in here and in our database as well so the, that is the student reference number and the student name is John Johnson address number 13 Bina Lane and here is a male date of birth 19 mobile number email john at gmail.com now the course let's say studying computer science or computing that's fine and enter his grades in there yep okay let's change 
that it software testing, cyber security, and digital, whatever. There we go. All we then need to do is click on result. Our transcript is working fine. Now, decision time. Let's see if this one is working. Click on add. And there we go, guys. The message box pops up telling us that the system is successfully updated. I'm going to click on OK and let's check out the student records. There we go. Look at that. We have Johnson's details in there. So let's go back in here. Now, let's check out our database. Right here, I'm going to go to the table. Click on the table and there we go that is it we have Johnson details on the database as well so guys that is how you develop your own student results recording system in with Java in NetBean so with that guys I'm gonna call it the end of this tutorial I suppose you enjoy it and this is uh, Paul Omen second channel the owner of DJ Omen's channel and please do subscribe to this channel as well and you all have a nice day now and bye for now